Okay, what's going on everyone? Mr. Rage coming at you guys with a new video. Finally, it's been a long time since my last upload, but I just wanted to get this out there. Um, this is going to be my first discussion video of today. Uh, if you don't know, discussion videos are going to be any type of video on my channel where I'll basically talk about topics or stuff I don't like or just, you know, random stuff like this. But it really hurts me to say this, guys, but unfortunately, Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 still may quite possibly be defective even after launch. Now, I uploaded a short to my YouTube channel and I, I it was called Xbox Series X is Garbage and I basically show how my Xbox Series X wouldn't even load like the home screen. The home screen would not even come up and it's already got two dislikes. And I gotta say, you Xbox fanboys, you guys are no better than the fucking PlayStation fanboys. As soon as someone starts trash talking your precious Series X, you just go full on Karen mode. So fuck all you Xbox fanboys. But now that I got that out of the way, I'm just going to give you guys a couple of examples. Now, last night, my Xbox Series X, for example, it was running extremely slow. Every time I try and go to the Microsoft Store, it would not load. It would say something went wrong, and it would give me the option to reload the page. YouTube would not load. Uh, it, would, or it would take like 10 minutes. I actually counted it. It, take, it would take like 10 to 15 minutes just for YouTube to start loading up. And when I would try and launch a game, it would say getting your game ready just to take a minute or two. That's clearly not normal. And it's not my internet because if I run a speed test, you guys can see that I have a decently fast internet. So we'll just do that right now. Just to show you guys that my internet is pretty good. I mean, it's not god tier, but it's, it, it's good enough for my shit to load quick. And it's never done that before either. My Series X would always load stuff fast. It would always load the store just fine. Last night, it was just struggling. And a couple days before that, I was playing an Xbox One game on here. You know, because this thing is fully backwards compatible and everything. I was playing an Xbox One game. And all of a sudden, I just started having some uh, extremely significant frame rate drops. So as you can see here, I have my download speed, 197 Mbps, upload speed, 52 Mbps, Packet loss zero. Latency is a teeny bit high, but wireless strength is also 100. So you clearly see that is not my internet. But anyways, as I was saying, I was playing an Xbox One game, more specific, uh, specifically Outlast. I was playing Outlast uh, about four days before that happened. What? Before it started slowing down, I was playing Outlast, and I had some extremely significant frame rate drops. And some, I know that Outlast, the game itself, does have frame rate drops, but, like, it, it was not normal, though. It, it almost looked like the game was going to crash. It basically started skipping, basically. Like, it was skipping so bad to the point, like, it's like, when a, it's like when a movie starts buffering or a YouTube video, you know? It was like that, but, that yeah, that's, that's also clearly not normal. And then, about three weeks before all that, I was downloading some games. I was down, I had, like, ten games in the download list. One was downloading... I wanted to cancel the. I wanted to cancel. I wanted to ca cancel the entire thing. I wanted to cancel all the games that I was downloading. I pressed cancel download or just cancel all, and it it, it wouldn't do it. <laughs> it. It it would not do it. I would press cancel and it would just sit there for like a for like a couple seconds and it would still keep downloading. I even resetted my console and it still didn't work. And the last problem I had is when I was trying to download a game. When I was trying to download a game itself, like I'll. When I go to the, I go to all my own games. Like, see, look at this now. My 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 own games are not even coming up. Like, it's not even showing up. It's not even showing me the number of my own games, and it's, it won't even work. But every time I'd go here to, I, I go to all my own games. I go to, I go to where it says ready to install. I try and click install, and it it wouldn't even install properly. It would just sit there. I would click A. I'd be tapping A, spamming, smashing A, and it would just. It wouldn't install at all. So, yeah. And now I want to give another example. Now, I got a buddy um, in Europe. He actually got himself a PS5. And this is even worse because I'm sure that those things are hella expensive in Europe. But he got a PS5. Uh, we, talk, we talk on Discord a lot. We talk a lot on Discord. And he told me that he's got three PS5 games. And each and every one of them won't even work properly. He's got Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Call of Duty Cold War, and Dead by Daylight. And he says that each game 
will either crash after he presses start on the start menu or while he's actually in the game like well actually he's playing the game so in my personal opinion i don't think you it's safe to buy a ps5 or an xbox series x yet okay this shit is not gonna fucking load god damn it but think about it now these things are out of stock right imagine waiting and waiting and waiting months and months for these things to finally come back in stock you buy one and then it might be defective or either that or you might just get it from a scalper i feel like everything is speaking just don't buy an xbox series x or a ps5 yet because they're already out of stock anyways but now it appears that the actual consoles ps5 and series x it appears that they might actually still be defective i got this thing on february 2021 my friend got his ps5 on july 2021 so these things might actually still be defective some units might actually still be defective i'm not sure if they might just be older units that were just sitting in the factory and now they're being sold again or something i, I don't know but i would just not recommend buying one of these things an xbox series x or a ps5 yet and for all you xbox fanboys who are going who will most likely continue to hate on my little short that i uploaded like you xbox fanboys you xbox thrones you gotta take a fucking chill pill okay I'm not saying your precious little Series X is garbage, but this one is because there's clearly something wrong with it, okay? I'm sure this console is great. It is great because when this thing was actually working properly, I enjoyed the hell out of this thing. Games ran smoothly. They looked good. I loved watching YouTube and watching my movies on this thing. I'd say the Xbox Series X is probably one of the best consoles of the year because it's an all-in-one entertainment system when it's actually fucking working because there's clearly something wrong with this thing. And think about it. Xbox 360 had the Red Ring of Death, PS3 had the Yellow Light of Death, PS4 had a plethora of issues when it first came out, and so did the Xbox One. I believe the Xbox One, or at least the first-gen Xbox One, had some kind of disc-related issues. But, yeah, just don't buy a console at launch. If you buy any console at launch from here on out, like, even in the future, like, if you're gonna keep doing that in the future, you're basically making yourself a guinea pig for both Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony, or whoever is selling these goddamn things. Don't fucking buy consoles at launch unless you're a dumbass. Because you know, even you know it might have problems. Because let's be honest, when was a console never not defective? Was the 360 defective? Yes. Was the Xbox One defective? Yes. Is the Series X defective? Obviously, yes. And same goes for every PlayStation console and every Nintendo console. I think even the Wii U is defective. And so was the Nintendo Switch. So, just don't buy these consoles at launch. Stop being guinea pigs for Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony. They don't deserve our money. If they're going to sell us these broken ass consoles. And sure you can say well at least we got a warranty. And maybe it's good being the guinea pig. Because you know you could be the one to warn everyone. Okay you know what you got a point there. Yes you, you, I, I guess you got a point there. Yes you can be the ones to make to make sure that these things are working properly. So that way the rest of the public can buy them. And you could be the one to say hey this thing's not working right. Don't buy it if it is not working right for you. Because if it's not working right for you. Then it's probably not going to work right for everyone else. Because these are launch models. This this was probably a launch model in the... I, I don't know about my friend's PS5. I doubt it. But that's what worries me. I don't think my friend's PS5 was a launch model. I'm pretty sure that was a brand new model. It just came out from Sony's headquarters or factory, whatever. So, that's what scares me. These things might actually still be defective. Even if it's beyond launch date. Because these things did come on holiday 2020. But yeah, my Series X, it is pretty... You could say it's pretty recent. And if I check my serial number... It starts with zero one, so I'm pretty sure that means that it's it's a launch model. So yeah, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, guys, just don't buy these things at launch. Give it some time. If you want my personal opinion, I'd wait at least till late 2022 because hey, at least then they'll probably be back in stock. It'll be easier to find one. Hopefully, COVID will be down and you could pick one up way way sim simpler. It'll be way more simpler for you. And think about it: if your console is defective right now during COVID. And if these things are out of stock everywhere, you try and ship this thing back to Microsoft or if it's a PS5 to Sony, then it's going to take a really long ass time for you to get another one. Okay, so that's why it's better off just to wait till late 2022. So that way, if it is, hopefully, hopefully, uh, oh my God, I hope not. If it's, hopefully it won't be defective. But if it is, if you do get, if you still get a defective launch model in 2022 or just one that's just defective in general, you could probably give it back. And they'll probably get one way sooner because hopefully COVID will be down and these things will be back in stock everywhere. And it'll be easier to find one. But yeah, guys, unfortunately, my Xbox Series X, I'm more than sure it's effective. My, my own games still won't come up. If I go to my own games, it, oh, okay, there it goes. Let me see if I can show you the other problem now. Because like I, I told you, that I, I tried to install a game and it wouldn't work. Let me see if I can find a game. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, Friday, Friday 13th. Let me see, Phil. Download. Okay. Okay, I thought I was going to do it again. Okay, so thankfully it didn't. But unfortunately, guys, yeah, th th there's still definitely something wrong with this thing. I would not recommend buying Xbox Series X or PS5. But you know what? If you guys do have an Xbox Series X or a PS5 and if it's working great for you, then I, I'm happy for you. I'm glad you're enjoying your new console and I'm glad there's nothing wrong with it. But please don't be a dickhead in the comments. Don't be like the Xbox fanboys or the PlayStation fanboys. Don't, don't Respect everyone's opinion. And if you're an Xbox fanboy and if you're pissed at either the short that I uploaded or this video in general... Don't be a dick, because if your console's working fine, then why do you gotta hate on me for? Because mine does not, okay? I'm just trying to tell people to be careful out there, because it, it's hard these days, because these things are really expensive, and if you get a defective model, then it's gonna be hard to give it back. That's all I'm saying. Don't be a dickhead, please. It's, it's uncalled for. Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Let me know how your new console is running. Is it bad? Is it good? Let, let me know, because I want to know. And be sure to document it, so that way people can see it. But anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. This is Mr. Rage. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.